just want to say hi. This is my dog, Snack. Come here, Snack. Come here. Dog jacket right there. She's not too. She's a little camera shy. Anyway, today I just wanted to um, show you guys a little bit what, about what I do every six weeks, I guess, for my dog. Yeah, she's pretty spoiled. But uh, many people say to me, you know, why is she so healthy and her coat so beautiful? She never has fleas. Um, she's just she's such an awesome dog and no gas too. That's a that's a big one. So if you've got dogs that have bad gas, you probably want to switch over. So anyways, just wanted to show you what I'm doing today. So this is my six weeker and uh, takes me a couple hours. Total labor of love. So this is what I do. So I'm just going to bring my computer over here and uh, show you exactly what it is that I do. So okay, I'll show you right now. There's some bags right there and uh, hopefully you can see that okay. These little bags are some raw chicken. What it is, is it's uh, ground chicken. Someone in Nanaimo here in my hometown that uh, gets it for me. I'm going to pick it up every six weeks, like I said. So then the next thing I do, I, I defrost that in my sink overnight. And then over here is my pan. It is awesome. I splurged and spent quite a bit of money on my food processor because, you know, when I'm doing all the veggies and stuff like that for the dog, it's really important. So the, the chicken that I get is all ready to go. I just have to defrost it. It doesn't have to go through the food processor. So that's good news. So next, I'm going to take you over to show you what I've been working on already. So here we go. There is some eggs. They go in, including the shell. Then I've got a big bowl of carrots. I have some apples. And I have some broccoli. And I have some cauliflower. As you can see, it's all been pulverized in my food processor. There can be small pieces. It doesn't have to be, you know, it can be a little chunky. It's kind of good that way, actually. So then what I do is I take portions of that and I mix it with the um, ground chicken. So I'll show you right now what I mean by that. Here's the big bowl here. Hopefully you can see what's going on there. I've got it all mixed up including as you can see the egg shells are in there as well. So I mix all that together and then I have these baggies here. I'll just hold one up. So in the, each of these baggies there's about maybe a cup and a half or so of uh, the mixture of ground chicken and all the vegetables. The vegetables do vary. Sometimes I have kale, sometimes I have, you know, cauliflower is really expensive one time. I might skip that and add something else. So some's a little bit different, but usually pretty much the same. Um, so I mix the food in these little bags, and I zip them up, and I put them in my freezer. My dog gets one for breakfast and one for dinner. And believe me, if it's dinner time and uh, I haven't fed her, I hear about it. So she's in the kitchen now getting excited because usually on food prep day she knows she gets a little snack in the afternoon when it's time to clean up. So got to get back to my work. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit about what I do and uh, sometimes my husband's around he helps and it goes by a lot quicker. It is such a labor of love. I'm telling you it is amazing. My dog is so healthy. Um, even some things that you may not know about raw dog food is um, even when they poop in the backyard, it actually disintegrates and it turns white into powder. And their poops are so much smaller. Um, like I said, they have no gas. Her coat is amazingly beautiful. And I've never taken her to the vet for anything other than just a checkup. And the, the doctors are always saying what great shape she's in. So, um, like I said, cost wise, I, I'm, you know, depending a little bit sometimes the season, the veggies are a little bit more. But for me, I can get away with about at least six weeks worth of food for probably around uh, anywhere from about $70 to $80. And one of those big bags of expensive dog food that has a bunch of crap in it is going to cost you more than that. So it's well worth it. I am so grateful for uh, Robin, who uh, owns Best Paw Forward, who was the one who introduced me to this and uh, also was able to meet up with her parents who are distributors of the chicken. I'm so grateful to have met her. 
um, please send me an email if you want to know more information and uh, and or if you want to know an amazing um, uh, company best paw forward for dog training and other issues too so anyway send me a message I hope this was helpful uh, just wanted to share what I do and like I said it's my labor of love so back to work I'll talk to you guys soon bye